4K, 60 FPS. You recording? Yeah. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the these ones because mm -hmm. that's what I used on ours, but I could use the yellow solder ones. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Well, I'm not gonna so. So that's the two wires that we need okay. for the thing. So I'm not going to do that yet. Right. I'm, I'm just going to keep it in, in view. Okay. Can you grab me the trash can, please? Yeah. So we can start checking things in. If I get out of view, just let me know. Uh, it should be fine. So how nice do you want to do this? Because a lot of this wire loom is crap. Uh, we'll just we'll just band it together. I'm sure he'll put new new loom on it. So just tape it tape it all together like we usually do. Mm -hmm. How I how high up do I have? Not very high up. So keep it as close to the table as I can? Yeah. Okay. Uh, or... Yeah, I'd have to bring the camera No, in. no, you're... Yeah, no, you're fine where it's at. I mean, I, I just found the bipod. No, I know. Or tripod. I was just asking. Yeah. That way. No point in doing this shit if no one can see it. Right. We did do a video on this, though, already, so... Yeah, no, this is just filler. Okay. I made a little video uh, when I went out there. Oh, yeah? I've been keeping up on the, um, the YouTube. I usually log in, like, once a week or something. Just yeah. To, just to see who's, you know, asking questions, shit like that, you know? There's some... Dumb questions. Very dumb questions. Very. Dumb. How do you test the harness? Brother. You yeah, commented I don't on the know. video that shows you how to test the harness. <laughs> and a lot of people are like, a lot of people I've seen doing this are like, oh, why don't you just go grab all of this and put it in? I was like, because electronics change between 9902 and 03 and up. Yeah. So if you're putting this shit in a fucking thing in a 02, 9902, you don't need it. Half need of these wires stuff. you don't even have. Yeah. You know, so. You don't need all that stuff. Yeah. There's no reason to do it. Now, there's no, there's nothing saying you can't take apart your harness and like route these in it, but why would you want to? Like, that's way too much work. It's just looming up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, LT's pretty pretty excited. Oh yeah? Yeah. Because I, I sent him that picture of it in the back of my truck. Oh yeah, is he waiting on it or and he's like, Oh man, you got the the cover too. Yeah. And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't fuck around, dude. I need my dice. Your dice? You want my nippers? Nippers? No, I have I have mine right here. Oh. It's just for Like some of the good stuff we can keep, but yeah. Other ones. I'm sure my belly looks fantastic in this fucking picture. My gut. Yeah, a lot of people were asking how to take apart the um the PCM wiring mm -hmm. to get to the, uh, you know. To the pins? To get to the pins, yeah. Well then, we'll, when you get to that, we'll do a little closer to the camera. Okay. I mean, there's plenty of videos showing how to deep pin it, but fuck it. I mean, the thing is, is, of course you can just call up fucking EFI harness or L LS1 harness and pay a hundred bucks and do it, and it's like, if you can get a set of fans, but the, the, 
But the thing is about their setup, it's not factory. A factory. This will go in the factory spot. Yeah. Use factory fucking relays. You know? I just... People are like, oh, it's fucking... You, it's old and blah, blah. It's like, if my wiring and my fucking 72 Nova still powers everything on, there's no reason why this would ever fail you. You know? I showed a video of your Nova to one of the, one of the guys last night. He's saying that he's like... Something he's like, one of the cars I always loved from the muscle car area was a 72 Nova. And I was like, let me show you. I showed him one of the one of the, us starting it. Oh, yeah? The 17-minute like, one? Yeah. I'm getting it's going on your counter, but I think you can clean it. Yeah, what do you say? He's like, that's pretty cool. We're running off fucking starting fluid. Bitch fired right up, man. <laughs> Just shaking them cobwebs off, man. God, that was so funny. Am I still in the picture? Yeah, you're still in the picture. Okay. This junction, such a bitch junction. Unnecessarily a bitch junction, too. Yeah. secretary down in uh, at the annex for the judges down there tested positive for the Rona. The Rona. Am I splicing on camera too? Yeah, you can splice it. Because okay. that's where we're at. Okay. So these two wires. So these two wires go to that ground okay. under, under the thing. Yeah. So all we do is we splice these here, mm -hmm. and then we re-put this ground up here. That way it can go to the thing. But you still have to connect this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like these, they still have to go. The thing is, though, is that this is going to the ground. So that's why we normally just cut this here and then put it up, up near the battery tray. I mean, shit, you have it in a fucking... The battery tray bolt. Yeah. A mic and a mic and ours are fucking mounted to the thing. Yeah. So Which one do you want? What flavor do you want? 
Um, let's do these ones. Okay. Do you want to go get your dikes? Yeah. Since yours are nicer. Yeah, you're supposed to use a blowtorch for this, or, or a, a, a heat, gun? heat gun. Yeah. You know you have yours, right? Oh, do I? I brought it here, remember? It's, been, it's in the garage. Oh, do you want the heat gun? You don't have to. I don't carry it away. this way. I don't carry it away. Okay. Because the heat gun won't burn it like that, that's why. Yeah. To go, I'll, we'll go outside and pop mine open and see which wires, which colors are going where. Because you can fuck these up by putting them to the to the wrong motors. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Size yellow. Yellow driver? Yeah. That's what I figured. Okay. 
Yeah. They expecting us to wear a mask sitting in the office? What's up? Oh, I gotta go get tested when I check off. Again? Just putting like driver. Someone commented on there and asked if we would just, how much we charge for one. Well, the, the problem is finding them. Yeah. Like, you know, that's why we're doing this. So anyone can go to the local junkyard and find them. You know, we, we pick all of our junkyard out. Yeah. We only do so much, you know. Way too fancy. We're gonna catch a lot of shit too. Never use an open flame to seal waterproof connectors. It's like not everyone has a heat gun, man. The one you have is like the first one I've ever had. Yeah. And I have mine. 
Everyone has lighters. Yeah. You know? I'm gonna put a nice little ring terminal on there for him. And also, you know, no one really has a fucking, not everyone has soldering guns either, you know? Yeah. Nearly anyone, or at least we're not taping it together and just, at least we're not stripping it, taping the other and just fucking wrapping tape around it. Right. You know? Yeah. I think we actually do some fucking due diligence here. Alright, that's done. Ground, passenger driver, and then the power wire. And then yeah. Well, people, it doesn't take too long. We're 22 minutes in. Can you move it a little for Yeah. That's good. My big old belly sits on the counter when mm -hmm. I do it this way. I've never taken this one apart before. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I'll say, yeah, you have. Well, it's D71. Well, usually I don't get this, we don't get this deep on it, you know? Yeah. There's no need to. But we will. Well, I think when I did this one, I, I fucking just slid it. I really don't want to do too much of that, you know? Like that green wire I just cut. Which I really hope isn't to that fucking thing. Because <laughs> I'm be upset if I did. It might be. I'm not going to lie. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm looking at it. I just don't know which way they wrap this. Yeah, they wrap it this way. There we go. Please don't be. Right. 
I don't think it is. <laughs> no, it goes up. There. Okay. And yes, one goes to each connector. So that much I know for sure. Do a video, I'm gonna take it off. Here you go. Not too much work. No shit. <laughs> you have to speed these up while I'm fucking being done. Please. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it's going to be one and a half time or two time. I'll see you make it easy three. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be an end of it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the hard. This is why we just fucking ground it, you know? Yeah. But. You know, why doesn't, why didn't LT just go and do, do this? I don't think he's found one. Really? That or. You know something he doesn't. I mean, that's hard to believe. <laughs> right? It's fucking really hard to believe. <laughs> I don't believe it. But then again, he didn't know he could put a 6.0 radiator in an A1. Yeah. That's how I, we even got in contact with him. Did he just watch your video? I post, He posted in the A1 group, and he, he had seen some of it, and I was like, well, here, let me walk through it. What do you post in that one group? That he was doing, well, that this is what he was doing. Okay. So. And he was like, I'm putting an eight one and a half ton and I don't know how to cool it. He, he was asking like, you know, has anyone put a six hour radiator in front? And of course me and Edward were like. <laughs> right here. <"Argh." laughs> I'm sure all the fucking numpties came out of the woodworks. You can't put a fucking eight oh, yeah. uh, six zero oh radiator. I ain't one. It's not gonna cool it. Yeah, there's plenty of plenty of those numpties. Didn't ask for your, didn't ask for your opinion, bro. Only those with positive experiences raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Kodiaks. <laughs> uh, fucking cross. A lot of good knowledge on there. Mm -hmm. But uh, as soon as you go over to the 2500 group, it's like out the window. Yeah. Now there is a way to just fucking unpin it and just pull it through the harness, but I figured by doing this we can actually... Yeah, but the, the risk of you pulling that pin off the end of it. Still doable. You got a good chunk of this, too. Huh? You got a good chunk of the harness, too. Yeah. Well, I couldn't remember what backtracked and wrapped around, so I was like, fuck all, it. All of it. It took me, like, a whopping two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. These are two we need. Right, let's 
get this off. Now let's play a game called, do I remember how to do these? I believe the answer is no, I don't. You already have those. I believe you just squish the ends of it and it comes out. Isn't wrong. I mean, that was my shoulder. <laughs> so many screwdrivers. And it broke. Oh. Do so at your own risk. Right? Yep. That's a lot easier way. <laughs> That's it or not. You might need to re pause it because I don't remember how to take these green little things off. Yes, I do. didn't even ponder to stop, to pause it. So, Hopefully got a good picture of that. Decent enough. Just just to show them like what it needs to Yeah. Which ones need to be what what it needs to do to get it out, you know? Because everyone likes to, I mean there's a reason why there's a way they went in, there's a way they're gonna come out. You know? Mm -hmm. Old school me would just fuck it, you know, kind of break it, repent it. Or re recrimp it, you know. Not anymore. Okay. Let's do blue. So it should be, I don't remember what connector this is. The blue one, I think? No, this is green. So green's a single, blue's the double. Okay. So the blue goes to green. Yep, green 33. Yeah, you can't really see it, but I believe. We can put text over it. Mm-hmm. Test one. Test one. No. 
So I need you to just put a hand on the bottom of it. Okay. Just like that. Just so I can show them, you know, if they can see what I'm pushing up. One of those re retention bullshit where you have to push it and then release it. Yeah. So that's 33, which means this one should be 42. And there it is, 42. Do you need another hand on or are you just going to... I'll just manhandle it. Down here. 